this is the first result and after that we can use subnet mask uh, in uh, for example um, with the ip address only because i subnet mask explain the ip address we can't use i subnet mask in a standalone function and after that in subnet masks octets we have only these values as you can see here in all of these values we have uh, some continuous zero okay eight zero one again uh, other bits are zero two two one again zero 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 and uh, until uh, uh, for example the two five five we don't have alternatings ones and zero now let me to show you this uh, example in this example you can see again the definition of subnet mask look at here subnet mask has 32 bits now you know about it a.b.cd we can write it in the uh, dot decimal notation as you know and we uh, when we are assigning ip address to the pc in these days we are using classless networks and because of that we need to use the subnet mask beside of the ip address ip address then subnet mask and after that, uh, in uh, the definition of subnet mask is when we are using one in subnet mask, this means that the equivalent bit the, in the IP address is the uh, network bit. And when we are using zero, this means that the equivalent bits in the, uh, for example, or correlating bits to the IP address is the host bit. Let me to show you three examples, example one, two, and three. The first example, 192.168.11.255.255.0.0 uh, As you can see, this means that we are using the first two octet as the network in this example, in this uh, IP address, and the second uh, or octet 3 and octet 4 as the host bits. The second example, example 2, 192, As you can see, here we have three parts. The first three parts are network bits because the subnet mask has the value of 255255255 and the last octet is the host bit you know it and here we have another subnet mask in example 3 192.168.11 with the subnet mask of 255255255128 this means that the first 8 bit second 8 bit third 8 bit and also the first bit of the last octet the octet 4 are the members of the network bits this means that here we have 25 25 network bits and after that we have also seven host bits this is the subnet mask you know that we are writing the subnet mask in the dotted decimal notation when we are configuring ip address okay you will see this let me to show you this is the ip configuration page you will see this uh, page in the future videos but for now let me to configure one ip address 192.168.11 for example and then here we need to configure subnet mask if you don't configure the subnet mask you will receive one error 255.255.255.0 that's it okay because of that in all of the scenarios when you are configuring ip address you also need to configure the subnet mask beside of the ip address in configuration we are using the dotted decimal notation of the uh, subnet mask but let me to give you one example look at here in subnet mask okay we need to say 255 255 255 this means that it's a little hard to repeat the 255 255 in all of the in all of the times of a day okay because of that we have another easier method we we use this easier method for uh, for example notifying about the for talking about the subnet mask and in most cases we use this easier method only when we are talking okay and we are describing subnet mask not when we are configuring in most cases in configuration we are using dotted decimal notation 255 255 255 but we have another notation this notation names is cidr notation look at here cidr notation or classless interdomain notation or classless interdomain routing notation don't worry about the abbreviation cidr notation we can use ip slash then the numbers of the network bits let me to give you one example for example here as you can see we have 192.168.11.255.255.00 you know that with this subnet mask uh, we have 16 bits as the network bits and also 16 bits as the host bits you can write 
192.168.112.552.5500, okay? And also you can write 192.168.11 S/16. S/16 means the 16 bits uh, of this IP address are the network bits. This is the number of the uh, network bits, okay? In most cases, in conversation, we are using the CIDR notation. This is the CIDR notation. Let me to write here. Look at here. When you say 192. 16 this means that the 16 bits of this address are the network bits and uh, also and we can say that the 16 other the 16 bits are the host bits okay look at here this is equivalent exactly this is same as exactly this ip address 192.168.11 okay with the subnet mask of 255.255.00 both of them are same in configuration, let me write here, in configuration, when you are configuring IP address, okay, we are using this method in most cases, not in all cases. In conversation, we are using the S-16. For example, look at here, 192.168.11.255.255.255.0. This means that 24 first bits of the IP address are the network bits. We can say 192.168.11.S-24. This means 24 first bits of this IP address are network bits. Both of them are the same. Or 192.168.11.255.255.128. This means that we can say 192.168.11.25. Because here, as you can see, and as you know, we have 25 bits of the network. This is another method of the uh, presentation of one IP address, CIDR notation. Both of them are the same. In most cases, we use the dotted decimal notation of the subnet mask, the, uh, for example, 255.255.00, when we are configuring. When we are talking about the subnet mask, we are using CIDR notation or classless interdomain routing notation 192.168.11 slash, uh, for example, 16. That's it. You will learn about these features because more than this, because you will configure, you will talk about all of these features many, many times in CCNA and also in. Uh, the future courses very good until now we learned about the subnet mask but let me to give you one another example about the subnet mask you can use this example for better understanding the usage of the uh, subnet mask look at here we, as you know we had this example in the class full networks let me write here class full networks pc one's ip address is 192.168.11 and the pc 2's ip address is 192.168.21 okay and you know that pc1 because the pc1 knows that the, its ip address in class c it can compare the 192.168.1 of its ip address or 10 the network address okay well, its network address with the, uh, for example, 192.168.2.0 of the PC2. And uh, PC1 can understand that the PC2 is not residing, is not residing in the, its, net, its networks and it can use the router to forward traffic to PC2. It's okay. But let me to give you this, the similar example in the classless networks. Look at here. This is the classless networks. And in classless network, we need to configure subnet mask beside of the IP address. For example, we can configure 192.168.11 with this subnet mask 255.255.255.0. Then again, 255.255.255.0. Now, the PC1 can understand that its IP address has 24 first bits of network bits and after that 8 bits of host bits. Because of that, it needs in this example to compare 192.168.1, okay, that's 0, with the 192.168.2, that for example 0 or x of the PC2. And as you can see here, we have the, uh, two, uh, two system in different networks, okay, different network why because the network part of these two address are not same and this is obvious but let me to configure another subnet mask for example i will configure 192.168.11.192.168.21 but the subnet mask is 255.255.00 okay or to uh, 200 uh, 255.255.00 in for pc1 and 255.255.00 for pc2 now 
we need to compare in PC1 the 191.6800 with 198.168.00 because you know that here we have only 16 bits of networks and even if you use the zero instead of the whole bits, you will find the network address. You And you know that you should compare the network address of these two addresses with each other. As you can see here, we are using, we have the same uh, for example, IP the same two IP address, uh, same network address in these two IP address, and because of that, PC one can understand that can send traffic to the PC two directly. But in the first example, the PC one should use the router. This means that with subnet mask, we can easily find that the destination IP is residing in our network or in another network. We can use, we can send traffic directly to this system, or we need to uh, use the, for example, or give help uh, from the router. This is the function of the subnet mask. Don't forget, classful networks are the fundamental or classful rules classes rules are the fundamentals of today's networks but in today's networks we are using only classless communication okay uh, classless communication has some advantage for us i will show you the subnetting uh, for example concept and subnetting uh, method in the next video and you will learn how you can use the subnet mask to and uh, to using uh, with the more efficient manner of the space of the ip address and you will learn about the subnetting and benefits of the classless networks but until now you learn about the subnet mask in the next video i i will talk about the say, for example usage of the subnet mask i will talk about the uh, for example subnetting method and finally you will learn how you can design the ip addressing of the of your networks with less uh, wasting of the ip addressing uh, in compare of the classful networks but for now it's necessary to, uh, for you to review all of the topics in this video and maybe uh, the previous videos and after that please come with me to the next video in the next video we will talk about one of the in more imp uh, more important and also more interesting parts of the IP addressing and uh, lesson we call it subnetting you will learn about the subnetting but it's necessary first understanding the concept of this video okay after reviewing all of the features in this video please come with me to the next video we will talk about again IP addressing but now about the subnetting